Today's video is a little bit different, so let me know in the comments if you love it or if you hate it. I can take it, trust me. I had an idea to do a change of season skincare routine and how I shift my skincare routine as I go into winter where I live in Canada, a very dry winter. My skin hates it. So there's a few things that I ensure in my routine as I transition from fall into winter. Nothing innovative there. I think every single content creator on this platform creates videos about changing their skincare routine. So I thought, how can I make it a little more interesting? And in order to do that, I have to divulge a little bit about myself. I typically don't talk about myself on any of my socials here on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, mostly because I feel like I wanna protect the rights of my family. And probably you don't wanna hear about it. You just wanna hear about skincare. So I'm taking a leap of faith here and talking about something in conjunction with my skincare routine. In my other non-YouTube life, I have a more than full-time job, and that is why I cannot upload videos with the frequency that probably some of your favorite content creators can. This is still very much a passion project for me. But I have spent over the last 15 years working in training and development, organizational development, HR, change management, and executive coaching. My passion is skincare, but I kind of thought today, maybe I'll talk about some of those things, and it seemed like the best suited topic for this skincare routine is how to manage change. So throughout this video, consider a change that either you've gone through in the past, are currently going through, or something you anticipate will happen in the future. This applies to your personal life, your professional or career, or even your skincare routine. Now I double cleanse in the evening because I wanna get rid of all the dirt, oil, makeup, sunscreen that is accumulated on my face throughout the day, and I don't find a single cleanse effectively cleans my face. This has been a game changer for me because I don't think I realized that my skin wasn't clean enough to continue on with the rest of my skincare routine with a single cleanse. I love using the Inkyless Oat Cleansing Balm as the first step in my double cleanse. Oat is a very calming and soothing ingredient for my rosacea prone skin. For reference, I have combination skin that's very sensitive and rosacea prone, and you can see this melts into my skin beautifully and effectively takes off my eye makeup. I try to be very gentle when I'm taking off my eye makeup because you don't wanna really rub your skin and create more wrinkles. And of course, with my skin, I do have to be gentle. Increased friction on my skin can inflame my rosacea. So I do a gentle massage to my face when I'm removing my makeup in this first step. The size of this is 150 mils. It costs only $13.99 Canadian. And of course, all the products that I'm talking about today will be linked below, but there are a lot of Black Friday sales going on right now, so you may be able to capitalize on a lot of additional savings too. When it comes to change in either your personal or professional life or your skincare routine, I think this quote by Charles Darwin says it best. Not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives, the one that's most adaptable to change. Drop a comment below your thoughts on that quote, and I'll go rinse my face. That's better. I like to use a hydrating cleanser next, especially in the winter months, and this one is fabulous. This is my Allies of Skin. It's their Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser. The only problem with it is it's kind of expensive. It's 100 mils for $40. Equally, I use this one by CeraVe. It's their hydrating cleanser. And for 355 mils, it's only $18.99 Canadian. Look at the texture of this and the color. It feels so lovely on the skin. I don't know how other content creators wash their face on camera. I've never found a good way to do it, but I'm doing the best I can here. I'm gonna go wash this off. I'll be right back again. This will be a multi-step skincare routine. You actually don't need all these steps in your skincare routine. It may not suit your skin or your skin type, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing and you can extrapolate from that what suits you best. All you really need to do in your evening skincare routine is cleanse your skin somehow, moisturize, and that's about it. Everything else is just extra and I'm totally extra. I love to tone my skin after cleansing or at least somewhere in my skincare routines, both morning and evening. And I typically reach for Korean skincare when it comes to toners because they have just nailed it when it comes to the hydrating ingredients and the application. But I want to give a shout out today to this toner by Paula's Choice. You may be like me and kind of overwhelmed with Paula's Choice and the amount of choice that Paula's Choice has, but this particular toner is their advanced replenishing toner. And it is the perfect shift between fall in a winter skincare routine because of its intense hydration. It's a milky texture, 
Can you see that with me not spilling it everywhere? It's 118 mils for $26 US. When I talk about managing change in one's life, one's profession, or even one's skincare routine, I like to use this image to take a look and see what it represents for you. I'll pat my toner in while you contemplate. Basically, what is behind you is in the past. It's in the rear view mirror, and it's also crystal clear. That is your old way of doing things, what you did before the change perhaps your old skincare routine. But what lies ahead when you look through the windshield is blurry, and that's because you don't know. Is there a sharp turn ahead? Is there a dog standing in the middle of the road? Is there a dead end? Hindsight is the gift of 2020 vision. Our challenge is to drive with our eyes focused forward despite the blurry vision instead of being stuck looking in our rear view mirror. Change can be measured in chronological time. Something stops and something begins. Like when you start a new job or a new career. The first day on the job, is the first day of the change. But that isn't the hard part about change, it's the transition. Consider your skincare routine. If you stop doing something in your skincare routine and introduce a new one, you're likely not gonna see all the skincare benefits on day one. In fact, you generally have to go through a period of adjustment with your skin. And sometimes your skin can get worse before it gets better. Talking to you, retinol. If we go back to our example of the new job, while day one may be the first day of the change and feel very uncomfortable starting a new role, it's actually the the amount of time it takes to become comfortable in that new job that encompasses all of the change. And that's why change is so hard for many people. Drop a comment below if you're typically very change oriented, you seek change all the time, you actually get a lot of passion and benefit from it, or if you prefer things to be stable, reliable, and less change oriented. It's not good or bad either way, but it's important to know yourself to know how to manage change. Next, I'm using The Ordinary's newly named Multipeptide Plus HA Serum, formerly known as The Buffet. I'll probably never stop calling it that. This is the 60 mil for $32.90. It also comes in a 30 mil size if you want to try it first before investing. And I typically apply it to damp skin right after toning. I've been blabbing, so now my skin is dry. So I'm just going to dampen my skin with thermal water from La Roche-Posay, but you can use anything, tap water to splash on your skin to dampen your skin if you find yourself maybe blabbing to yourself in the mirror as you're doing your skincare routine? You do, don't you? This is a peptide serum, which is great for its well-aging benefits, but it also has a lot of great hydrating properties, which make it a great transitional skincare product for me to include in a winter skincare routine. With change, most of us want to get to the best part of the change, which is that moment in time when you know everything, you're confident in everything, you know what you're doing. So in our example of starting a new job, not knowing your coworkers, not knowing what the expectations are, the time off request process, having to ask a thousand questions throughout the day on how to do something. Same with skincare. If you're dealing with acne, you just want to get to clear skin. If you're dealing with rosacea like me, you just want to have skin that's balanced and not compromised. We just want to get to that point of knowing everything and just be comfortable. But you have to allow yourself to go through that transition. Next, I'm going to use the Ordinary's Argeroline solution. And the serum I just put on previously actually has Argeroline in it, but I like just to do a little bit more. I use Argeroline like a spot treatment for my fine lines and wrinkles. So I apply them to my forehead, my 11s, and definitely pat it in around my eyes and generally do my laugh lines as well. It's almost like it's a spot treatment for wrinkles. Now you could or maybe should do the Argera line solution first because it is a more watery serum, but honestly, I don't think it really matters. This is a 30 mil size of the Argera line, a bargain at $9.30. Coming back to change, we generally want to get to that new state as quickly as we can. But the reality is that is actually the final step in a three-step process that we all have to go through. I should say, when it comes to managing change, this philosophy really applies if you choose the change yourself or if the change is chosen for you. In our example of a new role, yes, you may have chosen to seek a new career, but in some cases, if you're restructured out of your role, that choice is made for you. I'm gonna apply an antioxidant serum here. There is no surprise if you've followed my channel. This is Neod Survival Zero, one of my favorite antioxidant serums. There are three steps when it comes to change and all three steps need to be acknowledged. 
First is the ending or the old way of doing things. There's a sense of loss associated with this. So for starting a new career, perhaps you're ending a role somewhere else, or maybe ending school and starting in the workforce, or maybe you were a stay-at-home mom or dad and now you're entering the workforce. There's an element of loss, whether good or bad, associated with the change. I'm gonna apply my retinoid of choice right now, and I love retinal or retinaldehyde. This one, beautiful yellow color. You only need a couple of drops. I actually put a little bit too much there, so I'm gonna be sure to apply it down my neck and chest. Retinol works fabulous for my skin. It gives me great results without the irritation. This one's by Maylove. It's their Moonlight Retinol Super Serum. It's 30 mils for $36.95 US. And great news, Maylove now ships to Canada. The first step in change is realizing that there's a loss associated with the change. The second step in change is recognizing there's a transitional period to go through. What I mean by that is once you've actually implemented the change, Change, the old is gone. You're in the new, but the new doesn't feel comfortable yet. You've started the new job, you don't understand a single thing about how to actually do it. You're not sure how long your commute's gonna take, you don't understand where the closest lunch spot is. That's a big concern to me when I start a new job what restaurants are nearby. Take this example. If you are not driving right now and you're hands free, cross your arms like this. Can you see me? Like this. It's relaxed, it's comfortable. I could sit back like this all day if it didn't look like I was giving off a don't mess with me vibe. Now uncross your arms and do it the opposite way. It's not easy and it certainly doesn't feel comfortable. It feels uncomfortable because you're not used to it. It would take time and practice for most of us to feel comfortable crossing our arms in the opposite way on a regular basis. Acknowledging that you need time to become comfortable with the new way of doing things, there's also something fabulous about this point in time when it comes to change and that's innovation. You can be very creative because you're not held by your old beliefs. When it comes to skincare, I literally used to think, well, I used to purchase my skincare routine as a complete set from one brand. It never occurred to me to pick and choose the best of products from different brands. I don't know why I thought that. Let me know if anyone else did too. Knowing that I had to revamp my entire skincare routine, and you can see why if you look across my socials, I had very problematic skin in my 40s. You can see I use products across multiple brands to achieve my skin goals. If I hadn't made a significant change in my skincare routine, I'd still be stuck in the old way of doing things. In our job example, perhaps in your old role, you had a very innovative career creative idea and you were told, yeah, no, we can't do that. Well, perhaps now is the time. Next, I'm gonna apply my hydrating moisturizer to lock in everything that I've applied up until now. This is Stradia's new Interface Moisturizer. It's a peptide moisturizer. They've just recently launched it and it is fabulous. I'm choosing not to use an eye cream today because I can bring my moisturizer all the way up and around my eyes. I will often do that. All of my skincare normally goes down my neck and across my chest and on the backs of my hands. I can get away with gel moisturizers other parts of the year, but in the winter, I definitely opt for a richer moisturizer, definitely one with peptides, has some well-aging benefits like this one does, and it's 50 mils for $25. Step one is the ending and loss of change. Step two is that transitional period in between. And the third step is finally when you're comfortable with the change and we can consider that your new beginning. Trying to rush to that third step does you a disservice because you really have to acknowledge the ending and loss, go through that uncomfortable in-between period until you finally get to that new beginning. If you try to zip through there too quickly or your expectations of others are to get there very quickly, You'll be disappointed and oftentimes that's where resistance to change really comes into play. If you haven't already watched my video on face oils, I'll link that at the end of this video here. I'm using this one by Love by Jade. I apply a couple of drops again, face, neck and chest, back of the hands. In the winter, my skin just needs all the extra emollients and hydration it can get and face oils are a must as the last step in my evening skincare routine. This is $65 for a 30 ml size. I shouldn't say the last step. I always apply some kind of lip product. And this one was created by a YouTuber here on YouTube. Obviously, a YouTuber would be on YouTube. That was a Captain Obvious statement. 
Anyway, Mad About Skin is his channel. Go follow him if you don't already. When he first launched his skincare line, I bought everything from the line to try it out. I love it all. I've done a video already on that. I can link that one at the end of this video too. And then he sent me this lip balm, which is a relatively new release. It's great to hydrate and condition my lips as I sleep, and it's only $11.13 for a 20 gram size human nature to resist change. We wish that going from one thing to another was a straight direct line, but it's often a messy transformational process to get us to that new beginning. Let me know if you loved or hated this type of content. I could always do other topics if you're interested. Thank you for your ongoing support as always, and I hope you have a fabulous day.